now what I want to do is I want to play with your feet position. So have you ever, ever had a hip scour done on you? No. Or a pelvic rock back? So this is what we use to determine how your stance should be. And we talked about it a little bit in there. So I'm gonna do an exam on your hips. You've probably seen people uh, do the, an exam similar to this to see if they have like a, a femur impingement or something. But what we're doing is we're just filling the anatomy of your hip to see where your natural limitations are because you can't stretch bone. You can't change anatomy. You can lengthen muscle, but you can't stretch the bone. So people that wanna be an Olympic lifter that have hips like you, you've got great hips, but you can't change, you can't pick your parents. So someone like me is never gonna be an Olympic lifter no matter how much I stretch. That's a fallacy that some people kind of fall into that, okay, I'm gonna mobilize and change my anatomy. You're not gonna do that. You can lengthen it a little bit, but if, if I could change my body, I'd be seven foot tall. You can't do that, you know? So you can only, do what, you can only deal with what you have to work with. So what I want you to do is I want you to relax. I want you to give me, my, give me your leg, please. Okay, so what all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the range of motion of your hip without twisting you. Whenever I twist you and this starts to lift up, that means I've gone too far, and that's what butt wink is. That's when it comes out of your back. So we're just gonna test without you standing here what your hips do. So just relax, woman. Let me know if you have any pain. Any pain? Mm -mm. Okay. Can you move your hand for me? It'll probably go back that low. There you go. Dang, you've got crazy good hips. Look at that. Now, when we go too far, you can see, see it's starting to move a little bit there, but oh my God, you are super bendy. But that's, that's good though. So she would be a great candidate to be an Olympic lifter because she can set her butt on the ground and keep a neutral spine, especially with some positional work and some core work. That's excellent. You got great hips. Man, you don't need to do any stretching at all, especially if you're trying to build a good squat. So any more than that, it comes out of that side. But then we can find the width too. We'll find a notch here. So you can go wider, wider, there. That's your stance right there. And it's unloaded, so you can see it's slightly wider than shoulder width, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's check the other side. It's not completely unlikely to have a little bit of a discrepancy between the two legs but it's not that really, it's not big of a deal at all. Wow, okay, so about, it's about the same. And again, we're looking at the, the way the position of the foot is, the way the hip is. We can see what the bottom of our squat should look like. It's gonna look something about like this. So a little bit wider than shoulder width her knees will be. Good, very good. So to review, we're just filling the anatomy of her hip there. We can kind of tell if she has deep or shallow hips. She has super shallow hips because we can put her knee all, all the way up in her armpit. So that gives us a little bit of help to tell us that she's not gonna need to do much hip mobility. She's gonna need to work on stiffening a little bit. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna have you go to a quadruped. So roll over for me. Very good. Okay. So now what I want you to do, we're gonna determine squat stance a little bit more with this. So I want you to lock in your lats like you've been doing. Now I want you to just rock back, putting your hips and setting them on your feet. So keep going, but it's a little bit slower, a little bit slower. So go slow and what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for separation and the pelvis breaking away here. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And there we start to have a little bit of breaking away, but she still is super, super deep there. So now go back to quadruped for me. Now I want you to go with your knees wider and your feet straight back this time. So we're gonna test a little bit too with the knee angle here. And so we're gonna lock down and we're just gonna rock back. Keep going, keep going. And there we start having a little bit of breakaway, but she's still below parallel and that's where she's breaking away and that's where she's gonna get a little bit of butt wink. Butt wink. So keep going a little bit more. And you can see, keep going. Now you can see it breaking away there. It's actually disconnecting there. So come back up again in quadruped. Now bring your knees in a little bit closer and let's bring your feet together just for, just for the heck of it and see what the hips do. All right, go ahead and sit back again. Keep sitting back, keep sitting back and good. 
So pretty much any stance she can do, she's gonna get squat depth. That's never gonna be a problem for her. She's gonna have to find a position, and you can relax for me. She's gonna have to find a position where she's gonna be the stiffest and tightest if she wants to squat more. So you saw how the positions varied there with the feet angle, the, the knee angle, the hip angle, and she pretty much wasn't break, breaking away at all. So we wanna go to the point that's gonna make you the strongest since you can squat pretty much uh, it, it, to depth in, in any position. So let's go back over here and let's revisit this a little bit. What you're gonna have to do, and we're gonna take care of this in some assistance work, but that's why you need an assessment for me to see yeah. because I could give your friend this group of exercises after assessing her and she'll do great. But for you, you don't need to do much mobility work ever. Like the hip stuff for you, it'll be minimal. Like you do like three seconds of this stuff and then maybe it's a little bit more head, neck, shoulder, T-spine because you're sitting at the desk. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go a little bit wider this time on your stance and I want you to close your toes off a little bit. So as a rule of thumb, and I played with your foot position when we were down there, as a rule of thumb when someone's really stiff and tight, we wanna open the toes up a little bit more for someone like me, but someone like her that has a lot of hip mobility, closing the toe off a little bit inhibits the hip, just a little bit. So to show you an example, so stand right here for me. Now let's go through the goblet squat motion, but without the goblet squat, so hands clasped for me. Pulling down, nice and stiff, there you go, good. Lats into the back pocket, gripping the floor. All right, I want you to turn your toes out a little bit more. Good, I want you to grip the floor and root in. Remember, you're gripping in and you're externally rotating. All right, so now I want you to do a squat, but I don't want you to sink your butt to the ground, I just want you to go and, and do a squat about to parallel like we were working on over there. Okay, and go. Good, and back up. All right, again. Beautiful, all right, now keep that same stance. Now turn your toes straight forward. Good, and so they're not pigeon toe, they're pretty much straight forward, they're, they're outwardly angled a hair, okay? Now use the same form that you just did and let's see what it does with your hips. See how much more it grabs in the hole right there? Yeah. Now back up. Now again, good, back up. See, there's hacks that you can use when you have a, a hypermobile joint or, um, or something that is a little bit lengthened more than you would like. Now we can't change your anatomy, but we can stiffen you up a little bit. So these exercises are gonna be important. So simply just turning her toe angle in a few degrees, but not all the way closed off, just playing with it over time could be the difference along with specialized exercises and you having a little more stopping power yeah. because right now you don't have a stretch reflex. You just go down and, yeah. and then you have to hump it back up to turn it around. Now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go completely straight forward, but we're not gonna go all the way out. We're just gonna close it off a couple degrees at a time and I bet it starts giving you more of a spring to load up off, okay? okay? Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.